Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead Estate. We are back once again and previously we played as Cordelia and made our way onto the alt path. Well, we unlocked the alt path, but now we've got so many other characters to play as. Um, I think I want to go as... Hmm... Let's go as Luis here. I don't know exactly what this guy is about. Um, he is a police boy. Brace yourself. Um, I don't know what sort of gun he has. Okay, he has like a magnum looking thing. Slow firing. Probably, yeah, going to say quite a bit more damage. I like it. I like it. Okay. Intriguing. Intriguing. Let's give this a go. See how we go with this. Yeah, definitely higher damage than most pistols, but significantly lower fire rate, which normally is the opposite of how I play. He also has 6 HP as well, which is decent. Not bad to start. I just hope we can have a good run as this guy. And like I said, we will try and take our way to the alt path if we can. Because uh, there is some secrets to be revealed from taking the alt path. Lots of scorpion boys or leeches or whatever you want to call them. I still think they look more like scorpions than leeches, but to each their own, I guess. I should probably leave the red chest when I actually need HP and come back to them. Good money already. These guys take no worry at all. But yeah, I like the idea of this character. He seems pretty cool. Got a beefy gun. I will take damage right, right off the bat. I don't know what Cordelia Shop's got to offer, but I think damage is more important right now. Up to 27 already. That's really, really good damage for a gun on the first floor, I've got to say. This guy's a bit of a powerhouse. Keep it going, keep it moving. He's a little bit slow. His jump isn't quite as hearty as some of the other characters. We can deal with that. What sort of range has this gun got? Ah, it's pretty good range, pretty much the most, like the entire room. Calm down you. Where is Cordelia's shop? We got our rat friend. Oh, I'm stuck inside this pot. Okay, we've got that open. Oh, thank you for the golden scorpion. Golden leech. Whatever. Very happy to have that guy on for the ride, because now Cordelia's shop is far more actually usable. Damn, we got this room again. I, I love this room. Like, with well, these enemies, too, because give you so much money and potential for hearts, which is even more money if you're at full HP, or a lot of healing if you're not. Good, good. Really good. So many little leeches to be playing around with. Same with these guys as well. Spawn a bunch of leeches too. Good, good. And we get this serum here, which I don't remember what this is, but I will try and take it. I think we have enough damage to clear this relatively easily. Good. This is one of the harder waves because it's a lot of varieties of enemies. I think as long as you're constantly hitting shots you're not missing, you're probably going to be able to do it in time. If only I could hit that guy, what the fuck? Okay, we might not make this one in time actually. I think our low fire rate has kind of screwed us over here. We're so close as well. Oh, we got it! No way! Significantly boosts your damage and attack speed. Oh my god, thank god I did that. That's such a good item. Okay, our fire rate's gone way up. Our damage has gone way up. Okay, this was... I, I got so lucky to get that there. Like, so, so goddamn lucky to get that. I also did see the secret room above us. Our boy's on his way now. My guy, I just, I just want to get the weapon. I just want to get whatever that is. Just leave me alone. Okay, good. 
What does this do? Weapons don't use any uh, ammo for the first three seconds after entering a room. That's insanely good. Right, Cordelia, where is your shop? We've got 790. We've got so much money to go with here. I can't believe we did that in time. That's actually insane. And for such a good item as well. I'm so happy. There it is. Up that damage by 10 and up that fire rate by what seems to be about 30%, maybe even a bit more. Right, what you got for us? Enter release a barrage of projectiles on death. Chance for your shots to knock enemies back further. Ooh, I like the idea of that. Up to 46 damage now. Started at like 23, was it? <laughs> God damn, we've come a long way already. Yeah, we're going to be losing a lot of money, but gaining a lot of damage, so I don't mind. We'll see our money start going down in a second, I bet. Yeah, our money's going down, look, but our damage is insane, so I don't care. Wow. Yeah, damage is absolutely insane. Right. On to the alt path we go. We didn't even get a weapon that far, did we? I don't know if I missed it or if I just didn't get one. I don't know. Might have just missed it. That's a hell of annoying. As I said, gnomes here. Briefly grant. Oh my god. Invincibility and infinite ammo upon entering a room. Gotta say, I quite like the idea of that. How do I get this guy to... There you go. This comedy thing as well is great. Without the key yet. Do these need destroying? I don't think so. My goodness. Dude, that guy hits me every single time. Oh wait, no he doesn't. What the fuck? It looked like he hit me, but... You got room? No. It looked like he hit me, but I'm, I'm on full health still. Oh wait, is that because of the invincibility though? I think he hit me while I, was, while I was invincible. Oh, hello. Ooh, hello. Completely random. What do we get? We got... Let go. Ammo, ammo drops heal you instead of giving you ammo. That's actually fine. Uh, leave a trail of pepper behind you and bullets travel faster. All good. Obviously, I lost quite a lot of damage there. But we'll gain that back. It's fine. Bat. Oh my god, the bats are so frustrating to hit. I like the cultist shop. I gotta say, I like the cultist shop. I'm guessing it's like slightly discounted items, but you have no idea what they are. It's the sort of shtick. This is pumpkin guy, right? This guy's pretty easy, if I remember correctly. He has like a spiky attack that's like rather annoying, but otherwise... If you keep your distance, you're pretty much fine. There you go. Easy. Oh, we need that. Thank you. That is part of something to solve a puzzle later on. We have to do every single alt path to make it work. Dark mood woods have been cleared.
And we've got the upper story burning. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. The floor is burning now. The pots are explosive. This is intriguing. What the fuck? A random gnome just landed on me. Where did you come from, little gnome? Money's looking good here right now. Means damage is looking good too, up to 50. The cracking run this is. We've not even found a weapon yet, is the weird thing. Getting a lot of gold, uh, gilded pots or whatever they're called. Right, keep it going. Damn, I'm intri intrigued by this burning floor thing. It's like a floor archetype. Which is something I didn't know existed in this game. Ow. Ow. So, okay, I still have invincibility then. Apparently my invincibility lasts quite some time. What the hell's going on with all the gilded pots? And that one I even had a... Oh my god, this is crazy. I love it. It's crazy. It's a 60 damage now. We got toilet paper. We know what toilet paper does now. I'm not that intrigued by it. See what we can get. I think our boy is going to be coming any second now. Seems about time. Die, you big fool. Things have crazy knockback now as well. Uh, enemies will take damage when they touch you. Chance to block all incoming damage. And bullets travel faster and splash blood on impact. I'll take that. Don't know what this is, but this should be easy. I don't know if the splashing blood on impact does anything other than just visually it's pretty, but I'll take it. Dude! What the hell? Nice. Maggots. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, maggots is good. Oh my god. I think he's hitting me. What the fuck? A fish just flew out the sky and hit me. What the, what the hell is this bullshit? There's like enemies just raining out the sky. Oh my god. Am I going to die? Okay, I might, I might have to go back and buy some ambrosia. I'm going to go back and buy some ambrosia. I do not want to lose this run. It's so goddamn good. Um, and I am fucking it up royally. Careful of this fish coming into this room. Get out of here, you. Thing hit me again. God damn it. Oh, it hit me again. God damn it. Right, a lot of money to pay for a full heal. Dude, how are you meant to not get hit by that? Is there a way? Seems kind of impossible. Okay, he's got to be honest now. Did not relish spending that much money on that, but hey her. We lost about five damage, I think, maybe, maybe six. Um what the fuck? I gotta hit this guy. Oh he's there, that's why. Yeah, we lost six damage. We lost seven damage actually, we we're at 61, weren't we? Alt path again. I can't remember what this alt path is. But we shall find out. Yeah, that last floor was insanely large. I'm guessing it's because it was burning. Really, really big, though. 
Be sure to brush twice a day minimum. Okay, I will. Sorry, mum. Oh, I forgot about this floor. It's the fairer floor. And the little maggots. The pot demons. Can't goddamn hit. What do you do again? Firming shots or something? Not so bad. Gain a lot of money back though here, which is good. I should shoot the pots before those guys get out of them. It saves you the hassle. Up to 800 money again. I love the music on this floor as well, it's really good. Should be destroying pots more often, really, but. I'm past that now. Okay, these guys haven't been rough. What do they do? Whatever they do, it didn't do it to us. Whenever I see a room without enemies, I'm like, no, the pot demons, they're back. Makes it sound like demons that, like, smoke weed. The pot demons. This guy's on the chase. I can't believe it's one, da one money loss per second. You make so much more than that because of the damage that you're gaining because of how quickly you can clear rooms. Right. Boss is open. I remember this boss being fairly rough too, but we've got so much damage it shouldn't matter. God damn, the amount of damage that we have is like... Making a knockback crazy. Is that it? Is that everything? Okay, I think that's everything. Get ourselves gone then, I guess. It's a 66 damage. Let's go, boss man. Yeah, I don't remember how I fight this guy. Like, how do I deal? How do I deal damage to him? I forget. Oh god, I've, got, I've not got a speed for that. Is there a phase where I can deal damage to you? Good, there is. That was, dude. That was like so brief, it's insane. I got like three shots on you. Oh god, I'm gonna die to this guy, aren't I? Dude, I can't. Okay, so this is just three phases of this. But I've been taking two damage every phase. I'm dead. This was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, but this was... I'm guessing this is just three phases, right? Good, it was. We got our next piece. Okay. Health not looking great, but we'll go to the next floor and hope for the best. Yeah, I remembered that boss being a bit tough. Not because he's a tough boss, but because he's a phased boss. Like, you can't just kill him, even if you've got great damage. And his attacks are very, very annoying on the, like, perspective aspect of, like, where you think you're looking sort of thing. Oh, thank God. Health to save us right off the bat. I love that. Now at least we can't die in one hit. We do have the invincibility when we enter rooms as well, so we shouldn't be dying in one hit either way. <clears throat> the way we knock bodies around is so funny. More 
HP there, good, good. No, 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 little rabbit. No, no, no. 69 damage we're up to here. Okay. Just a room we can walk straight through. Hey, more HP. Okay, this is this this floor's gone really well. Didn't I just accidentally one shot that thing? I didn't even mean to do that. My bad. I guess we're going this way now. What damn hearts, man? Pain in the ass. Oh, there's a bunny. Got him. We tried to get in the hole, but I just knocked him back. Again, that invincibility at start of rooms is really nice. Very valuable. Up to max HP already. Okay, this is great. Dude, I need some more speed. My speed is really low right now. There's no point I was buying damage, though. It's just going to be a waste of money. Don't know what this is. Is, is this Shots Bounce? I swear this is Shots Bounce. How the hell was I meant to dodge that? Um, increase fire and all shots become bouncy. Hell yes. This is really, really good. I'm gonna do that. It's a lot of money to spend. I realize I'm losing a lot of damage for that. But I think it'll be a huge benefit to us in the long run. More toilet paper. Come on, one of these has got to give us a HP. There you go. Hey, two HP, nice. Yeah, I definitely needed that agility. My speed was terrible. It was getting into all sorts of trouble. Did lose a good bit of damage though, but like I said, it will build back up with, with good time. Chunks is after us now. Not that arsed. In fact, I might as well just kill him. We've got the knockback to keep him away from us. It's only his jump attack that's going to hurt. And even then, he's not very content on doing that attack either, so... We're trying to leave us alone. We've got a few more rooms to do. There we go. Got him. And it's a bit more money as well, actually, so... That ain't half bad either. You're blocking the dog, it's uh, one second. Da -da -da -da. Um, one second, let you just pause the recording. Okay, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. So yeah, we've got a few more rooms to do. We got rid of the big bad. 61 damage, it's like the highest damage I've ever had in this game. Right, I just wanna check if we've missed like an item room or anything, cause I swear we haven't seen it yet. Okay, we did miss Cordelia's shock though, which is potentially pretty darn useful. More HP, lovely. Alright, what you got for us? Move faster, no thank you. Bullets have a chance to stun. Uh, smash them with anvils. I don't know what that is, but for 300, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a chance. Smash them with anvils. I'm, I'm just thinking that's like every now and again I'm gonna insta kill an enemy and drop an anvil on them. Or something along those lines. Anyways, let's do the boss. Ooh. Ooh. This is a boss that I do not remember at all. He doesn't seem all that bad. Especially with good knockback. 
yeah, he was fine. Right, up the alt path again we go. I can't remember, is the last alt path the water one? I swear there's a water one, I can't remember if it's this floor or not. No, this is the old set. Okay, where's the water floor then? Hmm. I, I vaguely remember this. I know there's a little bit of a sort of jump scare-esque moment coming up. That's it. That's the jump scare. Do not close the program yet. Holy shit, I love that. I love that. Yeah, so basically, if you couldn't tell what was going on there. Dude, this is so confusing. I can't fucking see anything. Dude, I can't fucking see anything. What's with this shader? This never used to happen. Like, it, it used to go dark, but it never used to be, like, so blinding. God damn, that was cool. Right, what we gotta do here? Dude, they made the visuals way fucking hard to see in this mode. What the hell? Can I kill you? I don't remember. Do I just, just got to kill the minion you spawn? I think I do, don't I? Dude, yeah, they made it way harder to see in this. This is crazy. Is that him dead? That's him dead. Okay, nice. Get another piece. And we go. Okay, I forgot about that flaw. I'll be honest. I forgot about that flaw. That was pretty cool, but goddamn, yeah, they need to turn down the um, the, the staticky effects because I couldn't see anything there. I, I get that that's part of the point, but I think it was a little bit overdone. Onto the lab we go. Oh, there's the anvil look. Literally did just drop an anvil where, where my bullet landed. Oh, bugger you, enemies. Sort yourself out. More enemies that are just fucking really annoying because of perspective. Right, this time I'm kind of beelining it to the end. Make sure you explode um, upon death. Okay, nice. Use the uh, shortcut, shall we? This room again, not so bad. Oh god. I've circled out that comedy item that makes enemies explode. Helps out for enemies like that that drop other enemies. Boom, boom, boom. We're rinsing through everything, I think. Slightly potentially annoying room there. We got our boss already. Do that. We really don't need to like be exploring all the floors at this point, so I'm not gonna bother doing a full exploration. I would like to find at least the shop or um, item room there. We finally got a gun. We haven't had a gun this entire time, so. Cube. I'll buy the cube. For the first three seconds of entering a room, it doesn't use ammo. Okay, I'm just gonna leave.
forget how this guy works, really. I, I remember he's not that bad, though. Yeah. Not that bad at all. Right. Last alt floor, I think this is. Let's see how it goes. Golden leeches. It does say leeches there. There's the water floor I was thinking of. This floor is pretty tough if I remember correctly. But yeah, basically we can use this here and go... Probably not the best uh, weapon, actually. But yeah, we can use that to start out with. Yeah, we really could have done with something that bounced more, but... If we can even get one hit off of that thing right at the start of a room. Just gotta remember not to use it more than three seconds is all. Uh, exactly how do I hit this thing? But perspective was really weird on that guy again there. I've got to kill the boss to uh, get the last piece before I go up there. I really like the music on this floor as well. Whoa, what the fuck? You guys were underwater, spooking me. Shark boy? Oh my god, shark boy. How the fuck do we... Why does this thing not take damage? Like, what, 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 what's with this thing? Why can't I hit it? These enemies are bullshit. <laughs> they just don't take damage. Like, I'm shooting right at it. What the hell's with this thing? There's got to be like a really specific angle to fire at it. Not a big fan of those guys. Sharks are a little scary as well. Ooh, that one gave us HP. Awesome. Honestly, using the cube, it's not been that lucrative here, so I'm not that bothered about using it. So many anvils. Damn it. Yeah, the enemies here are just really, like, bouncy and unpredictable. Like, I'm having a really hard time hit, actually aiming and hitting them. We find the specific angle that allows me to hit this enemy. Right. Again, I remember this boss being kind of tough. Octopus guy, yeah. Kraken. But we've got so much damage that I think this guy won't actually be that big of a deal for us. Yeah, he was very, very easy. We got our last piece. I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna bother messing around with the um with the other golden room, because I don't know if it'll take us to the last floor and we need to be on the last floor. This is this'll just take us up to the boss fight, right? Because we now now we've got the key created. Very weird looking key, I've gotta say, but. We should be at the top of the roof now. Yes, we are. Good, good. Go in here. Makes our explosions larger. Nice. Probably buy an ambrosia here, maybe. Just in case. Stranger. Good luck. Go ahead. Hey, here's the key. We open this bad boy. And we get the antidote. Nice. Come all the way up here. And we can stab that in chunks to revert him back to his regular form. What? What? 
if I remember correctly. Let's give it a go, shall we? Three, four, three, two, one. Ba -da 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 -da. There you go. Antidoted him. Turned to small boy now. Little baby boy. He is baby boy. Thank you, Malada. And here we go. Look at him, he's so cute. He's like, where the hell did he go? <laughs> where the hell did he go? Now, do we go into a next floor or is that the end of this run? I can't remember. Cleared. This is the end. Okay, no, we are on the last floor now. Oh. Okay, no, maybe this is... Wait, oh, no, okay, okay. Confusing. We're in the exit realm now. Things have gotten real. This is true ending sort of style. I can't remember what we've got to do here. I think there's like some buttons we've got to press. Whoa, look at these things. Holy hell. Regular old room there, strange. Look at the amount of exploding shots, it's crazy. Okay, is this one of the buttons? Yes it is, okay. We've got to find three of those, I think? Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh, what you die, there you go. There's a piñata in here. What the hell? There was a goddamn piñata in there. Right. Pretty long floor, you can see how very, like, hectic the music is and the enemies are. Oh shit, did not expect you to do that. You gave me 3 HP though, so... Oh hello, Um I think this will be worth it now. And I'll buy health as well. Why did that give me 2 at a time? I didn't realize health upgrades give you 2 at a time. I don't know what this is, but I can do it. I can definitely do it. Nice. Up an anvils. That guy's have no concern to us. Only this magic man that's really difficult because he moves around a lot. We got him. Awesome. What does this do? Um, receiving a complete ammo refill on your current weapon at the start of every floor. Okay, that's a little bit useless for us. I'll be honest. Oh my god, the perspective. I just wish the perspective was better in this game. It looks like I'm shooting right at these enemies and it's just not even doing any damage. Same with these enemies. Like, why aren't they taking damage? God damn it. Another button here. One more button done. And there's one more button to get, I think. Yeah, there's another button here, look. There you go, press all three buttons in the exit round within five minutes.
die beast. Hey, here it is. We did it. Okay, and I think now it's a boss fight, if I remember correctly. It's a cool boss fight, but I don't remember, so... But lots of stuff done this episode. Lots of stuff done indeed. Sacrificial grounds. Oh, it's getting darker with each room. Oh, hello. Hello, good sir. I forgot you'd be here. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, my guy? Oh my goodness. Are we ascending? Looks like we're ascending. Oh! This is it. Diavola. Oh shit! We're doing 86 damage a shot, so I'm expecting she's gonna die very, very quickly. We are losing money over time, though. What, what am I meant to do here? Yeah, I see, I see the real one. We got her. How are you not dead yet? She must have a lot of HP. Oh my god. I'm so not used to her attack patterns. Okay, we got her. We got her. Oh, you have been saved. Oh, shit. What the fuck was going on over there? Glad we got out of there in time. I don't remember any of this. It's been so long since I played this last. Nope, we got dropped. Um... Oh shit, we're still in the boss fight. Okay, I see, I see. I guess we are? What the fuck's going on right now? Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. This is a cool looking uh, arena. Is she going to take damage at any point? Or are we just going to chill? That was fucking awesome. Dude, how do I deal damage to this gal? Okay, there you go. Hey, we got it. Okay, nice. You unlock new bonus floors, the arena, and hell mark. Awesome. Triumphant. You unlock a new difficulty. Holy hell. That, I forgot about that last phase entirely. But we saved, we saved her dad. We did the thing. Awesome. We're probably going to have a cutscene here as well. We also got five Chunks medallions, which no idea what they're for, but hey her. Oh lord, we are back. <laughs> he looks so pleased. My guy looks depressed as all hell, but... Hey, her. Who's this guy behind us? And this little... What the hell's... Okay, so there's some characters here that we haven't unlocked, clearly, because there's a little girl scout, and then this... this buff-ass, blonde-haired dude. <laughs> well, there you go. Fantastic stuff. We did it. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a really fun episode. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching.